Hey everyone, No One Left Behind here, and we're going to be doing the final run through of Rainbow Moon. We're going to be going through the island of Morden. Uh, we're going to start here in the main town. It's in the southwest island or southwest corner of the island. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to find three wellspring splashes that are in Morden. Um, they're pretty simple. Uh, head northeast out of the town. You'll see these treasure chests up here, and that's what you're looking for. Um, and you'll see the first well. All right, so you want to stop at this well right here, and you're going to fight a boss. When you fight that boss, after you beat it, it'll drop the wellspring splash in the battle. Uh, it won't be out of it. You'll get it inside the battle. Um, from here, we're going to head northeast of this position, as you see, trekking through the snow. And you're going to find some dirt and some green patches up north. And there's going to be a well kind of hidden back in the woods, up in the northern tip. There it is. And it's not actually going to be on the well. Uh, it's going to be back here in the woods, which is kind of odd. Uh, when you look at the well, yeah, it says, follow the barrel into the deep, dark forest. There's the barrel it's talking about right there. And come down, go southeast, and then northeast, and it'll drop you in a little hole. Uh, it's in the southeast corner. Use a little magic light to see your way around. There you go. All right, so we've got one more. Uh, I got a little talking time right here, so I guess I want to say that uh, I'm glad to be finally getting done with these run-throughs if you've watched the rest of them and followed through this long. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I hope these helped. If they didn't, let me know. Uh, <laughs> I would appreciate knowing if I wasted my time. But I think that you know this approach to walkthroughs is something that could catch on. It takes a lot of work, and I don't think really many people want to invest in that. But anyways, all right, so we're going to get over to this side of the island. We're going to head east from that other one, and we're going to get over here, and we're going to find these soldiers. And these soldiers, if you've seen this little video, they drop dirty fingernails, and you're going to want 10 of those dirty fingernails, and that is the second item of the three items we need to get from Morden. This is the last well. We need to wait till nighttime before we can enter it. So just walk around. I believe it's at 1600 is when nighttime comes. Yeah, it's been so long since I played this game. Oh, yeah, when we get done in this well, we're going to head east of here. And I didn't record it, so you're just going to have to believe me. Um, come down here, fight the guy, get the last wellspring splash. So that's that's three wellspring splashes. And that lavender tincter, tincture is available as a side quest item for back in the main village. Okay, so... We're going to find this little village east of that last fountain. And we're going to find, what's his name, Minfier? Yeah, I think that's right, Minfier. And he's going to say, look, I can help you find the pulsating liquid, or I can make the pulsating liquid for you, but you got to get me four pulsating slimes. He's going to give you a key so you can get in a dungeon. And the dungeon is located southwest of this little side village. So just head down the coast. And you'll practically run right into it. Avoid the hairy shadows, if necessary. Uh, I, I'm playing on hard, so this dungeon right here, I think, is where I have to level up quite a bit. Um, yeah, man. It's, it gets tough at this point, because there's not a whole lot to do. Well, I mean, there's plenty to do with side quests and stuff, but... From, like, here to the end of the game, as far as story goes, there's probably, like five minutes for the story but you have to go up like 23 levels so it's like there's a lot of play time all right so we're gonna get down in the dungeon we're gonna find min fierce key and we're gonna f kill four giant oozes so you're gonna see them around here and i think i saw some others kind of located uh oh yeah so you see you beat their big red slime and it, or it drops so the pulsating slime but i believe there's there's more than four in this dungeon I wasn't able to access more than four, and I'm sorry. Actually, this this part of the video, and I feel like I did a pretty good job with the other ones, editing and whatnot. But this one, I just did not have the footage to get it smoothly, so it's not as direct as I wanted it to be. But I'm gonna show you the individual locations for all four. There's, we've already got one. We need three more, and they're all pretty easy to find. Oh, but what I was saying is that I saw others in different parts of the dungeon that I couldn't access. Uh, maybe you can access them. I don't really think it's necessary because the ones I found were, I mean, they were pretty much straightforward. Flip a couple levers and just beat them. But 
uh, anyways, I digress. So I guess what I was saying earlier is like, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be done with these series. I kind of want to do another game. I want to do another game like this run through style where you skip a lot of the bull crap and get right to the point so that people that are like, Hey, what do I need to do if I just want to run through this game really quick? And you'll have kind of like a reference point. It's like, these are the, these are the things you need to do. And I feel like a video walkthrough is much easier to follow than say a actual fact or walkthrough, you know, like in game facts, uh, even with a list, it feels like it's not specific enough because the video can show you exactly where to go, exactly what to look for, etc., cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> oh, I'm just getting tired. I'm getting tired. It's late. Had a long day. Um, so has our hero, as a matter of fact. He has had a long day. Man, he has been nonstop trucking for, I guess in my game, about 100 hours now. And phew, I know he's got to be beat been killing baddies nonstop, uh, having to carry all these people around and having to do all these dang side quests man i i think i i did pretty much every side quest on my main playthrough with hard i think you basically have to to get the levels i mean i guess you can go run around and fight random encounters but i, I just find that doing the missions ends up leading to more xp than getting random encounters anyways anyways i digress uh, so we have one more final lose. We've picked up three so far. We're going to get the pulsating slime. And then, you know what? That's that's really about it. We get this last pulsating slime. We head back to Minfier. We give him the slimes. And that's pretty much it. And he gives us the pulsating liquid. And then we're off to Morden to finish the game. I'm going to do a final video to wrap everything up. Um, I think getting to Morden should be enough to get everybody through the game because the last little bit is literally just going and giving Tondryest all of the ingredients. He puts everything together. And I don't want to spoil it, so we'll just, w we'll just wait. But we'll get there. Anyways, so this is it. Give him in fear of the things. He gives you the pulsating liquid. And that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Morden is done. As long as you got the dirty fingernails, you got to get ten of them from those soldiers. And I think you fight them in the dungeon, and you fight, you fight them all over the place. You got one of the pulsating liquids from Minfier, and you've got three Wellspring Splashes. We should have six Wellspring Splashes all day. In this video, I missed one in Aria, so I had to go back. Um, which was crazy, because it took me forever to find, and I walked right past it a dozen times when I was playing it. Anyway, so I have ten exact, exactly ten dirty fingernails. Got to go with the last wellspring splash, but we have it. If you followed the walkthrough, you've got all the wellspring splashes now. And that's a wrap. Um, I'll see you in the next video. It shouldn't take too long. This is No One Left Behind, signing out.